The United States is embarking on a transformative endeavor to equip its naval fleet with state-of-the-art hypersonic missiles, a strategic move aimed at bridging the technological divide with formidable competitors, such as China and Russia. At the heart of this ambitious initiative lies the Hypersonic Air Launched Offensive Anti-Surface Warfare HALO program, as recently unveiled by the Warzone. This program, integral to the broader offensive anti-surface warfare OASUW increment project, represents a significant leap forward in the US Navy's maritime capabilities. Contracts have been inked with defense titans Raytheon and Lockheed Martin to develop air-launched hypersonic anti-ship cruise missiles, anticipated to be powered by cutting-edge ramjet or scramjet engines. Scheduled to undergo flight demonstrations in fiscal year 2027, the HALO program endeavors to fortify the Navy's ability to counter advanced naval threats, particularly in the Pacific theater, where tensions with China loom large. Beyond its tactical advantages, HALO holds the promise of streamlining acquisition and sustainment processes, leveraging economies of scale and shared supply chains across air, surface, and subsurface platforms. The US Navy sets its sights on deploying air-launched HALO missiles by 2029, with ambitions to expand their utility to surface and subsurface launch configurations. This strategic imperative underscores the Navy's response to parallel advancements by adversaries, notably China and Russia, both of whom have already demonstrated and deployed ship-launched hypersonic weapons in operational settings. The imperative of hypersonic technology is underscored by the US Navy's characterization of OASU Halo as a linchpin in its offensive strike capabilities tailored to counter evolving threats posed by near-peer adversaries. Nevertheless, the United States confronts a looming hypersonic firepower gap vis-a-vis -vis its rivals. China's YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missile, reputedly capable of attaining speeds six times that of sound, and Russia's Zircon missile, flaunting a 1000 kilometer range and ninefold speed of sound, epitomize the formidable challenges ahead. While the US Navy has hitherto relied on stalwarts like the Harpoon, Naval Strike Missile, NSM, and Tomahawk, the limitations of these systems, including subsonic velocity and susceptibility to advanced defenses, underscore the pressing need for hypersonic capabilities. Despite concerted efforts to retrofit existing platforms, such as the Zumwalt-class destroyers and the development of the next-generation DDG-X, formidable challenges persist. The fiscal implications, logistical hurdles, and alignment with future force structures pose formidable obstacles to the widespread integration of hypersonic missile-equipped vessels. As the US Navy navigates this labyrinth of challenges, the evolving contours of naval warfare accentuate the imperative of remaining at the vanguard of technological innovation, ensuring a competitive edge in an increasingly contested maritime domain.